Hello everyone and welcome to my final lessons on the fundamentals of Corridor. We'll be talking about the tools used in Corridor specifically. So, in my previous lesson, we talked about the transparency tool function. It says that it makes a part of an object lighter than its other parts. So, in this final lesson, I'll be talking about the last two tools, the color eyedropper tool and the interactive field tool. Alright, let's begin. So going to the color eyedropper to it, sample colors and apply them to objects. So let me see if I draw a box, I draw another box, I give this box yellow green, yellow red, sorry, give this box so I give this box a color red, not yellow red. Yellow is my best color, so just yellow, yellow, yellow every time. So I give this box a color red, give this a color yellow. Let me say now, I want this yellow box to have the color of this red box. So I can simply go to my color bar and change the color. But if I don't want to change the color, I can go to my color eyedropper tool. I'll click on this red box and apply it on this yellow box. So the main function of this color eyedropper tool is just this that I just displayed on the screen. I just demonstrated on the screen. So let me see now if you have backgrounds. Let me say you just you downloaded a picture from online and you want to like design it and you're having problems getting that background of what you downloaded. You can simply just use your color eyedropper to copy the background and paste it in your design. So to demonstrate it, if I look for a picture right here, let me see. I want to use this picture. If I copy this design to so this what I designed, paste it here. So let me say if I'm designing this thing now and I'm having problems getting this particular background of this image. Actually, this is what I designed. This is a 3D design, it's very nice. So I'm having problem getting this background of this my design now. I can simply go to my color eyedropper tool select this background and paste it here so as you can see it's my task we did copy the color of the background so very nice and simple so now i'm going to my next tool I have the interactive field tool so this interactive field tool applies the print field on objects in the drawing window so this interactive field tool is just like the transparency tool but in this case it's allows you to combine colors from here once i've selected the interactive field to say the objects that i want to apply on it so you can see it now just like the transparency to it has made this part lighter than this other part so in this case i can change the color of this lighter part just simply click on this white box if you want to give it a yellow color, I give it a yellow color. Another nice thing about this tool is that this box, this white thin box, I can drag it here. So you can see it how see how the gray part is now coming inside. So I can also double click on this middle part. Double click on it. I can change the color. So I give it a blue color. So you can see now I've already given this rectangle color combination combination of three colors gray blue and yellow so this interactive field to helps you to do helps to combine colors in amazing ways so i can come here and change the orientation of its elliptical fountain field so you can see how it's now like more in a circular part you can increase it if i want to increase it and change the direction of it if i want to so you have this other part, the conical fountain field too. So this now like conical fountain field shape. So it's just the same as transparency too, but in this case helps you to combine colors. So you can see the rectangular fountain field. So you can also come here and change the color. But there's no really necessary since you have already changed the color from this color bar. It's just the same as you coming here and changing the color too. So I can come here to see other functions, a reverse fill. So this reverse fill now, you see how it has changed. This 
let me take it back if you look at it initially this inner part is color blue though. then the one after it is color blue the one after it is now color blue so if i use this reverse fill you can see now that the outer part that was initially green is now color yellow then the middle part is now color blue and the inner part is now color green so that is the use of this reverse fill it just changes the reverse um, reverses the direction of the color combination you have here the arrangement you can mirror you can put it repeat and mirror so you can see it now to the design it gives you can put it to just repeat you can see it is a very nice effect very and very amazing effect so you can put it to smooth so you just smoothened the sides of it so that's uses of this interactive fountain feel too so as we have come an end to this lesson i'd like to introduce you to amazing designs amazing designs i've done that is as an as a career draw user i'm already used to career draw and i know it very well so you can see now see the flyers i've created so i'd like to show you the, the designs i've made while I've using this career draw for like this is for like three years now. I'm really talking to an expert in this Corel Draw. So I'll show you the amazing designs I made. So this is a flyer. As you can see this Henry Tech graphic designing. It's an amazing flyer. Coming here, you can have you can see the Rena Kicks and more flyer. See the amazing design I gave it. What I designed. Then you can, you can come here and see the wedding flyer I designed for someone. My client is very happy that I made this. You can see the amazing effect I gave it. You can look at this. See the banner I created. Simple but it's fantastic. The design, no much color, just simple matching colors. And looking at this upper part, you can see it is like very nice, a very good masterpiece. If you look at this text effect, if you look at this text now. You can see I gave it an effect. See the skin of the text. So you look at this 3D logo, the business flyer. So these are like amazing designs so if you want to learn how to like do amazing designs like this simply subscribe to my youtube channel and check the videos i uploaded there you can also turn on your notification bell you will be notified when i upload new videos on designs so you also created other designs so this one this first one i showed you now these are the flyers i've created so i also have other designs other effects so this right here is a wet paint effect yeah it's nice if you look at it closely yeah it's very amazing and look at this last one this is a dripping effect so i put a dripping effect on a text it's very nice and amazing you know it's an expert surely come up with amazing designs for you to get clients and you advertise yourself so if you look at this text effect too see it's called an elephant text effect and coming here this is like one of my best designs that i've created so far like the way i love this design is so so unconditional i just love the design because the effect i give it you can see how this is like a flower shape with different combinations different blue colors you can see how this is very nice and coming here you look at this gold color 3d text effect so i gave this text a 3d effect and giving it a gold color so it's amazing and come here you have this spiral effect 3d spiral effect so you know a spiral is normally 2d so but in this case now i created a 3d spiral shape you can see how it's nice so give the spiral shape a wet paint on it it's very amazing in this one here just like this last this one i showed you i created the dripping effect on the picture so it looks nice i also gave you this nice background so coming here now this is like this is my greatest masterpiece like i'm very proud of this work i did so with Corel Draw, i designed this line see how it's like nice and perfect see you won't imagine lion wearing glasses. 
So you know, Corel Draw Design is all about you designing creative things, imaginative things. You bring them to life. So I've ever seen a lion wearing glasses, a lion with muscles. So I'm proud to say that I designed this because it's very great. So you can also have other designs here. So here, these are 3D effects, 3D designs. This is the first one. It is just like a light bulb. Second one is like a sphere. It's like a normal 3D, and this like a switch. So I also created logos, 3D logos. So you can look at this one. It's a 3D logo design. A 3D logo design. 3D, 3D. Very nice. This is a 2D logo design. It's still nice. And you have here a label design. So if you want to learn these amazing designs, I dropped the link to my YouTube channel in the description so you can use it. You subscribe to the channel, the videos there. I've made drops on videos, you can watch and learn them. Also, give it a like and also share the videos and subscribe to it. You turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos on amazing designs like this. So if you enjoy this lesson, please do appreciate it by subscribing to my channel, giving my videos like, share my videos and also comments. Thank you.